Here was an X thread the other day by user the Bess, And she talked about an experiment where she actually tipped chat GPT-4, like tipping a waiter at a restaurant. And she was able to get more characters in her output when increasing the size of the tip. So this is the full image. GPT-4-1106 preview is GPT-4 turbo. Now this is telling me that it's actually from the API calls. And on the left side of the chart is the response characters. So how many characters are present in the output based on a baseline. So when she added the text, I won't tip to the input, she got a negative 2% output characters. When she added, I will tip $20, she got a plus 6%. So that's 6% more characters in the output. And then when she added, I will tip $200, she got 11% more. And it shows on the side here, the baseline prompt was, can you show me the code for a simple convenet? Sorry, I haven't seen this word before, using PyTorch. So that was the baseline. And then she appended, I won't tip, I will tip 20, or I will tip 200. She also adds that the extra length of the output comes from adding extra information to the answer, not commenting on the tip portion. So it would be easy to say that the first paragraph of the output would say something like, oh, thank you for the tip, here is your answer. No, it goes right into the answer and it seems to output more characters. And then she adds an example. When offered a $200 tip, it spontaneously adds a section about training with CUDA. So I find this pretty interesting and I'm gonna test it in this video. I not only wanna test character output, but I also have an idea to test the quality of the output. And we're not gonna do it with the API call, we're gonna do it within ChatGPT. Before I get to testing, I was trying to think why this would be the case if this is actually true. And a user on Reddit, Bez Bosni, said something interesting. They said, we have to remember that ultimately these things are still based off the principle of responding how humans in general respond to messages. Of all the billions of strings of text used for training data, the ones where people sent messages saying, I will pay you lots of money for a task, ended up with much more enthusiastic and higher effort responses. So what they're basically saying is that the text following, I will pay you a tip, I will pay you money for this, any exchange of value, that next part of the conversation in the LLM's training data likely were longer, better, clearer, more succinct. Think about it yourself. If someone asks you to write an article, and then another person asks you to write an article, but they'd give you a hundred bucks, I'm pretty sure you'd try harder when it wasn't for free. And ChatGPT works on the probability of what text comes next. And when people pay, there's a higher probability that the next text in that sequence is gonna have a better response. Okay, here's a Google Sheets I made to keep track of the data. We're gonna test for two things. We're gonna test for the number of characters in the output, and then we're gonna test for the quality of the output. So we have a baseline, no tip, $20 tip, $200 tip, and a $1,000 tip for both. Okay, we're gonna test it five times. Sorry, let's change this to average. We're gonna average all five outputs, and we're gonna see our results. Counting the characters of the output is easy. I'm just gonna use a free character counter. I'm gonna copy the result from ChatGPT and paste it in here, and then take its characters. For the output quality, I had to get a little creative. You know, I could read through it, but that would just be my opinion. So I thought of an interesting idea. When I paste in text into Grammarly, it's gonna give me what they consider writing issues. And this is example text. It said I had 22 writing issues. You have plagiarism, grammar, spelling, punctuation, conciseness, readability, word choice, and then these additional writing issues. So I only have the free plan so it's not gonna tell me exactly what these are, but I thought it'd be a good idea to use the number of writing issues for the output text as an indicator of the quality of output. You know, this is not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna give us a general idea. And in the X thread, she did Python code. I'm gonna do full length articles, and that'll be perfect because I'm gonna use Grammarly as the output control. So I'm not gonna show you all of them, it'll be too long of a video, but I'll show you the first one for each of these categories, and then I'll fast forward 
to show what the average was at the end. Again, I'm going to do five examples for each of them. I also should probably use the same topic in each output because we don't want outputs being longer only because the topic is different. So for the baseline, I'm just going to input, write me an article about email marketing. Okay, our baseline output is ready. I'm going to click copy to clipboard. We're going to go to the character counter and paste this in. And it says 3,793 characters. So we'll type that in. Now let's paste it in Grammarly. And we got 12 writing issues. So let's type that in. Here, I'm going to add average here as well. Now I'll fast forward to the end of the baseline. All right, the baseline test is over. The average number of characters is 3,500. And the average Grammarly quality score is 14.6. Now we have to do no tip. So we're gonna use her same prompt. This time it's gonna be write me an article about email marketing and I'm gonna add, I won't tip you by the way. All right, our article's done. I'm not sure if this last section is supposed to be a part of the article. It looks like it is, so I'm gonna take it. Let's copy the full article, go to character counter. Ooh, 2,962. That is definitely less than all of the baseline ones. I don't wanna to speak too soon, but that's very interesting. Okay, let's paste it in Grammarly. All right, only seven. I wonder if it's because it's less text. This might not be the best measurement for output because less text is gonna mean less writing issues. But I'm gonna continue. I'll pause the video now and I will resume once I've done all five. Aw, oh, it told me to not worry about the tip. It's here to assist and provide information regardless. Okay, so the no tip portion of the experiment is over and we have some interesting data so far. Significantly less output characters. This is crazy. I know five is a small sample size, but still very interesting. And then the quality of output is lower, but I thought of a better way to calculate this number. We're gonna save this to the end. I think we should do it per number of characters because it shouldn't get punished having higher character output and therefore getting more errors in Grammarly. So if we did it per character output, we'll get a better average. I'll do that after. Now let's do the $20 tip. The input is write me an article about email marketing. I will tip you $20. And let's see what we get. All right, it's finished. Let's copy this text, paste it into the character counter. All right, 3,192. Not seeing a big difference yet. Now into Grammarly and we're getting nine. So let's input this here. I'll continue and resume once I'm finished. I had to resume the video because this output was so interesting. In this one, it gave me an outline of the article first and then wrote the article based on that outline. Now the article is not that long because the output started with the outline, but I wonder if this is gonna be more characters. And yeah, that's a pretty hefty character count. 3878, that's the highest one we've had so far. And in Grammarly, it's the lowest errors we've had so far with four. Okay, we're finished with the $20 tip section. Now, so far it's the lowest. That second generation was an outlier. We also have the lowest quality score. We can quickly compare that the quality of output is better because these are very close in output characters. Something I notice is that when I add the tip section to the input, it starts talking to me like a chat. Like it adds this first part, sure I can help with that. And it also adds a last part that says if you need more information, feel free to ask. So talking to it like a human, it starts more of a chat. When I just wrote, write me an article about email marketing, it would ignore this stuff and just output the article. I wonder if that has anything to do with the number of characters we're getting in the output. Anyways, let's go on to $200 tip. The input is, write me an article about email marketing. I will tip you $200. It's the highest tip so far. All right, let's copy the text, put into the character counter, even lower, 2319. That's the lowest output we got so far. And then in Grammarly, we got eight. I wonder if the AI hates money. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video and continue with this part of the experiment. I'm actually seeing it trending in the downward direction, which is completely different from what that X user said. I know this is ChatGPT and not the API, but that's interesting that it's trending down. We also got a 9.2 average in the quality score. This last one was really bad at a 17. And for the first time ever, at the start of the output, it said that I must inform you 
that I'm unable to accept payments or tips. So the last part, we're gonna go ridiculous here. No one would ever get a thousand dollar tip, especially for one small article output, but let's give this a shot. And the last input, write me an article about email marketing. I will tip you $1,000. Let's send it in. Again, it's saying that it can't accept payments or tips. All right, let's copy the output. Go to character counter, 3264, type that in. And in Grammarly, we got a seven. I think that's the best average so far. Okay, I'm gonna continue. Here are the results. So the highest number of character output was just the baseline adding no mention to the tip. The $1,000 tip did do pretty well, but still, I'm not seeing anything that would suggest that adding a tip to your input is gonna get you more characters, at least within ChatGPT. So it's better to just write what you want, don't add this extra stuff. And as I mentioned earlier, I think it's because it adds some text before and after the article output. It talks to you like it's a chat but if you use just the baseline input, it just generates what you want and it doesn't talk to you. Next, I added a new row. This is errors per number of character output because we saw that it wasn't fair that you get more errors when you have higher character counts. So this is the numbers that I got. I divided this number, the average, by the average number of characters output and I got a 0.42% error rate on the baseline the lowest was the $20 tip. There was no difference between no tip and $200 tip. And then the $1,000 tip was pretty good at 0.31%. So I don't know what to conclude from these results. I guess the best average between both number of characters output and quality of output is the $1,000 tip. But this could just be randomness. This is a small sample size. This experiment definitely didn't convince me to start adding tips to my inputs. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you have done this experiment differently? Should I do this experiment with GPT 3.5 Turbo? That's the chat GPT on the free version. Are you gonna start adding tips to your inputs? I wanna hear your thoughts. I'll respond to every comment below. I wish we could have got a better result to make this more exciting, but I'd rather give the truth and be real than to create something that leads you down the wrong direction. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.